Hello everyone. In the next video, I will show you the fastest diagnosis of air conditioner board repair, which does not turn on at all. It has a problem with its power supply. So if we don't have the board, we will quickly identify the power supply. Here is the power supply. Here is the transformer. Here is the rectifier bridge. The 220 volts. Inside here, in the integrated circuit, there is the voltage regulator and the switch. And here, the diode is for output smoothing of the power supply. And here is a 220V smoothing choke. I will use the multimeter. And without applying 220V to the board, I will show you how we can perform detection on the same circuit on the power supply. First of all, we will see where it receives the 220V. I will use the ohmmeter. I see here, from my components. Here at the bridge, at the input, we must have the neutral and the phase of the 220V. So I will, I see here that I have an NTC. Right here, I have an NTC, which must be connected from up here, the relay. That is the relay. NTC is my line. The phase is obviously here. It bypasses the fuse, goes to the NTC, and likely goes to the bridge at its first leg of the 220V. It is exactly here, so I have the phase up to the bridge. I will also check the neutral. The neutral is here. It should go to the other leg of the bridge. Yes, it works. Let me show you briefly to take my hands off the second leg of the bridge. That's how it is, so. And the output of the bridge now. The signal will go directly to the capacitor. The capacitor I see here has a tape. Varistor, which is the PLIN and the SIM. Up here, so the SIM goes straight up to the SIM of the capacitor, and the PLIN goes more. To the PLIN of the capacitor, directly up. I detect the 220V. The rectifiers are working and I proceed. Now I will check the capacitor for any short circuit on the integrated circuit above where the MOSFET is and the switch. I measure all its pins. The series does not cause a short circuit. Even if there was a there short would be some circuit. fuse protecting me. So the pin of the capacitor must go directly to a leg of the integrated circuit. I will find it now somehow. It is here so the capacitor goes onto the pin of the integrated circuit and the capacitor's lead must go to another pin of the integrated circuit which when measured with the capacitor's lead, I will see that it goes here. So I understand that the voltage goes up to and even passes through the integrated circuit. So I don't have any problem in the primary. I go to the secondary and measure the rectifier diode. And I see that it is short-circuited. I also measure it in reverse. I see here that it gives me a short circuit to definitely check that the diode is faulty. I will remove it from the circuit since it appears to be shorted. I'll cut it with wire cutters and measure it out of the circuit. I'm about to lift it now. Here we see, most likely I've found the fault. It's the diode. It's the diode. I have removed it and am measuring it out of the circuit. Out of the circuit, I see that it is shorted. From what I see, this is the faulty one. It is the shortcut, the short-circuited one. So this is the fault of the board. We saw that within five minutes. We saw that so within this is five the minutes. We managed to find the fault thanks to the knowledge of a veteran power supply technician. So if you liked the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel on YouTube, and thank you again. Hello.